hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel this is Sichamba jacob and i guess you're doing fine wherever you are watching the video from all right so this is question one from paper 2 2018 so you can see this is the matrices and it was question 1a okay so the question reads given that matrix a is equal to 2x 2 3 x find the positive value of x for which the determinant of a is equal to a 12. so the most important thing to consider here is uh, the determinant which is a 12. so remember in case you are watching this video for the first time or you're watching or you're learning this topic for the first time please keep it in your mind that when dealing with matrices let's say you've got matrix b this is matrix b which is equal to here you've got uh, a b c and d so this is your matrix the moment you hear the word determinant remember determinant is denoted using uh, the bars these bars they mean determinant or if you don't mind you can use this other symbol so this and this they mean the same and when we talk about determinant it means multiply the major diagonal by the way when you move like this we call this as a major diagonal from top uh, right to down there it's called a major diagonal and going this way it's called minor diagonal so for you to find the determinant you need to multiply the major diagonal and then you say minus multiplication of uh, the minor diagonal so the determinant of b will simply be equal to a d that is a times d it's a d minus c times b which is a c b or b c it's okay okay this is how you get to find the determinant let me give you an example we use numbers here let's use numbers so let's say you've got a one a two minus one and a three here they ask you to find the determinant of b in this case you're going to say b is equal to one times two it's a two and then you say minus negative uh, one times uh, three it will be equal to a negative three which will give us a two plus there a three and we're getting a five as our determinant i think you now understand how you get to find the determinant now look at this question the examiners here decided to give us the answer of the determinant which is a 12. so they give they, they have given us the determinant already which is a 12. so we shall say a is equal to 2x 3 2x just like that so they have given us the determinant of a to be equal to a 12. And they want us to find what the value of x for us to find the value of x here we're going to follow the process of finding the determinant 2x times a x that will give us a 2x power 2 and then we say minus 3 times 2 it's a 6 which is giving us a, a 12 or equal to a 12. so now we solve this equation it will be 2x power 2 which is equal to 12 plus a 6 so this 6 will come this side it will be a plus it was minus it will be a plus so we have 2x power 2 which is equal to 18 divide by a 2 by a 2 this and this will go x power 2 is equal to a 9 because 2 into 18 it will give us a 9 now are we solving for x squared look at this x power 2 no therefore we're going to square root both sides so that this power and the root go we shall remain with x is equal to plus or minus a 3 square root of what over 9 it's a 3 so it will be plus or minus 9 according to the question here 
we are going to get x is equal to a 3, the positive uh, value of x, which is a 3. So that's how you get to find the determinant. Now, for the next question here, they are saying as or otherwise, right? A power negative 1. So for a power negative 1, they are just asking us to find the inverse. We first now find our determinant here, I mean our matrix. So matrix A will be equal to 6, 2, 3, and a 3 here. Remember, the value of x, we just found it to be equal to a 3. So when we put a 3 here, we're going to get a 3. A 3 here, it will be 2 times 3, which will give us a 6. After we've identified the matrix, we can say A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of A multiplied by, this dot means uh, multiplication, multiplied by a joint. Okay, so what is our determinant or the determinant of this? They said it's equal to 12. So I'm going to say equal to 1 over uh, a 12. Here we write a 12. Multiplied by the adjoint, it will be a 3, 6. So follow me nicely on this one. This is where people make mistakes. So for the adjoint, just get this matrix. Where there is 3 here, you put a 6. And where there is 6, you write a 3. You switch the major diagonal. These numbers, you switch them. So this is what I've done. And then for the minor diagonal, change the signs. So you can see they are all positive. So therefore, you write the negatives. If they are negative, you write the positive. So, so just change the sign. If this is positive, you write negative. If this is negative, you write positive, just like that. If you want, you can leave your answer here. you still be marked. But it's very important that you simplify to the fullest. So let me show you how to simplify this. So we have got uh, 1 over 12, 3, negative 3, then negative 2, 6, like this. Okay. So now you start multiplying 1 over 12 by everything that is inside. Remember, when you've got a fraction, you're multiplying a fraction. This is a fraction multiplied by what is inside. Just multiply the numbers that are on top. So 1 times 3, don't forget this. So it will look like this. 1 times 3, it's a 3 over a 12. Here, it will be negative 3 over a 12. Here, it will be negative 2 over a 12, 6 over a 12. Just like that. And from this stage, you can simplify further. 3 into 3, it's a 1. Into a 12, it's a 4. Here, it's a negative 1, 4. So we have 1 over 4, negative 1 over 4. Here, it's 1, it's a 6. So we've got a negative, uh, negative 1 over 6. And then here, 1, here, a 2. 1 over a 2. This is our answer. So this is how you are expected to answer an exam question like this. And remember, exam questions, paper two, let me just talk about paper two. Matrices don't miss, and they will give you a question that looks like uh, this, where they'll give you a determinant, and then you find uh, the value of the missing number inside there, the matrices, or the matrix. And uh, also, they'll ask you to find the inverse. So you need to know about this. One more thing which I've noticed students making mistake is that when finding the inverse, you see this 12, I just got it from here, this 12 as a determinant. People make mistake on this one. Instead of writing the 12 here on the determinant here, they will come and write the value of x which they found. So in this case, you write a 3 here. It means you've gotten your question or you've solved your question wrong or you've gotten your answer wrong. So always remember... Where there is determinant, write the determinant which they've given you in the question. Thank you so much. This is Sichamba Jacob. And bye-bye. Uh,